All right, Carlene, starting off November kind of with a whimper on the weather department, though. No, just nothing really big either way to talk about. No, for yeah. a whole eight days. What's a girl to do? It's just going to be like this, just kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. meh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I guess we can take it. Yeah, well, we'll get... we can layer up. We can enjoy layering up. There you go. We are going to layer up in the morning, not needed by the afternoon. Just hit cruise control. We're not talking about any major changes in our forecast all the way into next week. Just minor temperature differences day by day. But for the most part, it's a pretty quiet week for us. We're seeing the cloud cover rolling in. We had the mid level and high clouds earlier today. Starting to see some of that low level moisture moving in. That marine layer is going to be in intact for tonight through tomorrow morning. This is the view from our Mount Soledad camera. It's a cloudy one and 65 degrees currently for downtown. We also have some light winds out of the northwest at nine miles per hour. Looking back on the month of October, no surprise there, which typically I would say it's not a surprise because we were living through it, talking about the rain that we had. It was above seasonal, and that's not typically what we have in October. We're talking about Santa Ana wind, so some beneficial rain as we went into the start of our new water year, and we hit more than an inch for downtown, so that put us at a surplus when it came to the month. Also talking about warmer than usual temperatures, and then also talking about those cool ones in the morning hours. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the setup and see why it's going to be meh at least going all the way into the weekend and next week. We have an area of high pressure that's near us and yet another one that's going to build. You're seeing these series of lows that are moving just towards the north of us. They're going to close in right along the west coast. Because we have that high pressure system building up out of the south, that's going to push all that moisture well towards the north of us. As it does get closer towards us, not a whole lot going on. Just temperatures that are going to be a little bit cooler and then also talking about some added cloud cover to the scenery. But this high pressure system, this is going to win out. So temperatures will get warmer than usual, not by much, roughly about five degrees for most of the county. And that's going to be on Thursday and Friday, bringing the inland valleys out of the 70s right back into the 80s. This high pressure system is going to keep a lot of that moisture away from us. And then we have a stronger trough and that's going to move in by the weekend, knock our temperatures down just a little bit more into the start of next week. Something else to be mindful of, we do fall back and that is going to be on Sunday. Look at your new sunset and sunrise time on that day. Oh yeah, it's going to get dark early around here, about eight minutes before five on Sunday. Taking a look at our eight day microclimate forecast, 70s going strong for the coast all the way into the start of the weekend. But then by Sunday, knocking temperatures down into the upper 60s. We take that into next week. The return of the low 70s by next week for the inland valleys. You got a couple days of the 80s before we get to that point. Also talking about those 70s across the mountains back into the 60s this time next week. And even a return to the 70s for the desert.